Okay, let's look at this, um, this quick example of how you would determine goodwill at the time of acquisition. It's 2-15, okay, problem 2-15. And, and what they do is they want you to answer this problem. On its acquisition date, choose the option that, that points out what amount true data should report as goodwill. And I'm going to show you why it's 31-6. Now, somewhere in the problem, they say click on the button and you get this information, okay? So let me read the information to the left of the mouse. It says, on July 1st, True Data Company issued 10,800 shares of common stock with a $5 par value and a $42 fair value in exchange for all of the Webstat Company's outstanding voting shares. Okay, so they're acquiring 100% of Webstat. And the pre-combination book and fair values are provided below. So we've got the table of data of what the parent's information was, what Webstat's was, and what Webstat's fair value. All right, well, when we determine goodwill, we have to translate the subsidiary, the, you know, the acquired company at fair value. So down, if you slide down to the bottom here, and let me, let me see if I can slide this a little bit so you can see more. Yeah, now I think you can, you can see the information here. Um, what I've done is I've listed the net assets acquired at fair value. So I'm just taking these numbers and then dropping them in Excel so that I can uh, calculate a total, okay? So I entered the 42,000 that we got from right there, and then I entered the 186 that came from the left of my mouse. That's inventory. Patented technology was 163.4. Land was 286.9. That comes from right to the left of my mouse there. Buildings and equipment net, the fair value is 95,250. So in other words, they're giving you the fair value and it looks like we're assuming the fair value of their liabilities, which comes to 351,550, which came from right here. So then all I have to do is write, run a sum, right? Sum all of those and, it, and what we see is the fair value of the net assets acquired is 422,000. Now then we have to determine the price paid. Well, they tell us up here um, they're going to issue 10,800 shares of common stock with a $5 par value and 42 fair value. Well, the par value doesn't matter, but the fair value is what we use to determine uh, the fair value of what we're exchanging in exchange for what we're getting. So if you see in this cell, I've entered 10,800 times 42. That's 10,800 shares times $42 per share. That's the fair value listed right there. And so we see we're paying $453,600 to acquire $422,000 of the fair value of the assets of which we've identified. Now, all we have to do is calculate the difference. So now I take you know, the value of those two cells, calculate the difference, and that goes to Goodwill. So Goodwill is $31,600, $31, and sure enough, that was one of our choices on this multiple choice question, and uh, that's the correct answer. So uh, I hope you found this helpful. Let me slide back up. I'm going to try to slide back up anyway. There you go. And now you can see the title of the problem as well as uh, most of the data and uh, shows you how I solved it. Okay, everyone. Thank you.